Si tiene semejante hoja de vida, ¿por qué está buscando un puesto como secretaria? Bueno, como usted sabe, hay mucha competencia y como no tengo gran experiencia, me llama la atención iniciar mi carrera como una secretaria ejecutiva en una empresa como esta, demostrar mis capacidades, ascender dentro de la empresa y, y por el trabajo como secretaria no tengo ningún problema. Ana Maria Orozco Aristi Zabal was born in Bogota, Colombia in 1973 in the home of actor Luis Fernando Orozco, now deceased, and radio announcer Carmenza Aristizabal. She has two sisters, Veronica Orozco, also an actress, and Juliana Orozco, a graduate in modern languages. His first incursions in Colombian television were in the emblematic children's programs, Pequeños Gigantes and Imaginate, seedbed of great actors and actresses, as well as singers. He made a small participation in the soap opera Sombre de Lobos in 1991. His first stirring role was in the soap opera La Juela de Tuspesos. From then on, she was part of the cast of the remembered telenovela Pero Amor, with Dana Garcia and her later first husband, actor Julian Arango, with whom she would share. Scenes again, in the production Tiempos Difficiles and the telenovela that would catapult her to worldwide fame, Yo Soy Betty La Fia. Among other telenovelas and productions in which Ana Maria Orozco has participated in Colombia are La Patrizena, the Colombian version of Amas de Casa Desesperadas, the telenovela Recordaras, Mi Nombre, Mujeres Asesinas and Flor de Oro. She also appeared in the film El Colombian Dream by Felipe Alger. The unexpected success of I Am Ugly Betty overwhelmed her to such a degree that she decided to move away from television for a while and settle in Argentina, a country that welcomed her with open arms, where she met the father of her two daughters, Lucretia and Mia, the Argentine musician Martin Quaglia, to whom she was married until 2012. In Argentina, she had the opportunity to participate in important projects such as the film, Perez, El Ratoncito de Tas Sueños Mujeres Asesinas, Oportunidades, Mi Problema con Las Mujeres, Somos Familia, El Regreso de Lucas, the youth series Simona and the film Soy Tu Karma, she also participated in the series Perdida. Ana Maria Orozco had a torrid romance with her partner in the production, Somos Familia, Maximiliano Gaion, which ended in 2016. After 20 years of participating in Yo Soy Betty La Fia, the most successful Colombian telenovela in the world, Ana Maria has not been able to completely detach herself from Beatriz Pinzón Solano, and this is how she agreed to participate in 2017 in a theatrical proposal inspired by this worldwide hit, with a medium success in Colombia and some other countries. Despite the fact that the most famous Ugly Betty of Colombia continues to reap success on Netflix, and has been repeated several times in Colombia and other countries, she and her colleagues do not receive royalties for the same, and all remain under the shadow of the soap opera and the characters they characterized, from which it has been difficult for them to exorcise and achieve other professional successes as forceful and both national and global recognition, as they achieved in Ugly. Betty. It could be deduced that Ugly Betty was a great blessing, but over the years, also a curse for all those who participated in it, for life will be remembered for their characters, Beatrice Pinzón Solano, Don Armando, Nicholas Mora, Freddie Stewart Contreras, the Barracks of the Ugly, Hugo Lombardi, the Pupachura, among other endearing characters that despite the time, and the repetitions, are acclaimed as in the first debut in 1999.